Hello and welcome my beautiful Geminis. Here is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of June the 19th to the 30th. Yes, this is a little bit longer time span for the energy here because I'm preparing to start all videos in July on a monthly basis. So that's the update. Please click the link below and you'll see the video that will take you right there where you can see the spread I'm going to be doing. And I know it's going to be exciting and it's going to be great for all of us. Okay, starting off with your download message. You've got better than expected. So this is awesome news. Let's see what we have coming in with that with your tarot messages here. Let's see with this tarot message. What does Gemini need to see, know, and expect? What have you got? You've got the sun. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, beautiful card. Yes, so you can't go wrong here. Um, something's coming in that maybe you've been working on and you've been advocating for yourself, promoting yourself, um, and working very, very hard with your own determination and due diligence. And that is why things are going to work out better than you expected. Maybe some of you are working on legal situations. Maybe it has to do with something with your job and your career. Um, uh, maybe, you, you know, something at home uh, in your home life here is going to work out better for you. So it's a beautiful beautiful, beautiful card. And then when we get the sun coupling in with this, you can't make a mistake. So this is all about success and, and, you know, hear me roar, right? You are the beautiful Gemini and you can stand out there and be very confident and do this. Um, it's about confidence and courage and victory and glory coming in with this, with this particular card. And it's all about moving in a new direction and being able to see that there's going to be light at the end of the tunnel, being able to see it clear and concise, concise, um, sight line to go towards your goals here and to see something come to an outcome and it will come to an outcome with fruition and abundance and harvest. Wow. I love it. So you can't get any better than this to start off your reading, my beautiful Gemini. So let's see what the reading does have and in, in, you know, the energy around you. And again, this is a general reading, not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate every one with everybody, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. Now, the Six of Cups comes in as your beginning card here and the, or the beginning of the week, but this has to do with probably reflecting and thinking about past situations in your life. Some of you might be feeling extra sensitive and nostalgic right now where you're thinking about your childhood, your families, your parents, those that have passed uh, on to the other world, or you could be in contact with somebody who's moved away. They might live at a distance from you where you're connecting with them and conversing with them um, in your mind. But some of you may also be in touch with somebody who's going to show up and return. So somebody may have returned from the past or been uh, it's been a while or distance from you and they are going to be there. I do believe they're still loyal. I do believe that they do care about you and I do believe that they're going to help you move through a situation. The, things might be different now. Um, maybe some of you knew somebody in your your past when you were kids and you know you might have been in some sort of a relationship and you were too immature and young to carry it forward maybe they're returning now uh, you know, bolder, wiser, uh, more successful and more settled and balanced to bring into something into your circle of friendship uh, in the form of maybe closure or um, any unresolved issues they're telling me. Now for others, this could be, um, this could have to do with maybe some of you are going to be spending time with a pet or a dog or receiving a new pet or a dog, or maybe your dog's sitting, <clears throat> or you could be sitting for your, as your, your grand dog, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, or some of you could be spending time with children. But this is a time for you, if you are reconnecting with somebody, that you kick up your heels, have a good laugh, talk about the past, and let it go. Okay? So this is this is a closure. This is healing. This is a card of connection. Um, and also just being nostalgic and dreaming and thinking about these times as well. But there could be somebody returning from your past for others. Now, coming in next, you have <clears throat> you have the death card. And the death card is a card that I, I particularly do like because it's the end of a conclusion. It's the, it's a conclusion of somebody. It's it, something. It's the end of a situation. It could be a job, a contract. It could also be the end of a relationship. Something that had to end. It was inevitable. <clears throat> Um, there isn't the tower card here, so it doesn't indicate it was sudden, okay? So there might have been an ongoing situation that even in the back of your mind, when you look back here with hindsight, you say to yourself, yeah, I'm not surprised that this happened. 
this gives you a brand new beginning. When you free yourself of those shackles of leaving and walking away from a situation or something like that, <clears throat> excuse me, you get this rebirth energy where you can go after what you want. Fresh, new page, new chapter, new phase in your life. Go after it. Look at your future with promise and vision. Okay, even though it portrays the Grim Reaper here, look what is in the face of this picture. It's promise of a new beautiful future here. And so stay optimistic. Something new is coming in. It could be the end of hard times. It could be the end of hard work. It could be the end of challenging relationships. Any situations in your life that have ended now. And now you get a chance to finally breathe and go forward in a new direction. Coming in in the center. Yeah. Being able to see things here with the Ace of Wands with clear insight and vision. Using your third eye, opening your eyes to new possibilities that could be coming in here. Now the Ace of Wands is a card of moving forward and going after what you want. It's, you know, the Ace, Aces are the beginnings in all suits. You've heard me say this a million times. And this is a new sighting opportunity that's showing up in your life right now. <clears throat> And it could be something creative. It could be inspiring, something to do with your career uh, possibilities that could be coming into view now. But you're going to be able to go for it. Don't be afraid. Go after what you want because you've got this door of opportunity in a portal hole that opens up that says now you've got the freedom and the resources to do what you want and go after what you want. Things are going to be better than you expected. I and mean, you've got that sun lighting your path. Okay, so go for it. Keep your mind open. Be innovative. You are my Google kings and queens. If something, if you doubt something, go check it out and do your research, okay? Some of you could be starting a new business or a new job, or you could be putting some new fresh things into your business and your job that's going to make you feel excited and want you to go forward. Some of you could be receiving a new job offer or even a new job promotion. It's exciting information that's coming in here and it will be a brand new fresh start for you. I love it. Coming in next, you've got the Seven of Swords. So be careful with the Seven of Swords. So as we know, um, this has to do with, you know, um, and it, you examining the truth in a situation. You might have to stop what you're doing and take your time here to review your plans, okay? Be objective. Um, <clears throat> or if you can't, see the trees for the forest or the forest for the trees, uh, consult somebody, an expert, to help you identify any necessary adjustments you have to make. Consider also that this card has to do with the deception card, okay? The Seven of Swords has to do with deception. Not everyone has the same agenda as you. Be careful, okay? Because someone involved could have a hidden agenda. And they might not be as, uh, as truthful as they should be, all right? Somebody could be hiding and lurking in the shadows here. And they're waiting to jump in your seat of power. They're waiting to jump on you, to take something away, or beg their way into your good graces, or try to steal something from you. Okay, be careful. There could be somebody at work. It could be a family member. It could be a so-called uh, colleague that you work with, somebody who you thought you could trust. And all of a sudden they, but they're going to get caught because they're, <laughs> and look at this crow here, screeching his lungs out, this raven saying, hey, open your eyes. There's somebody here who's not what they say they are, or who they say you are. So keep your eyes open for that. Okay, um, this is the card again, as I say, somebody trying to steal your thunder. Now, coming again, you've got, coming in at the end, you have the beautiful card of the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, the Ten of Earth is a beautiful card, and it's all about abundance and financial security. I think you're going to find that, <clears throat> you know, you've established something, and it's going to be a lasting foundation of success, and possibly it could be in business for some of you, okay? You're going to be able, finally, to be able to have the, the material comforts and the satisfaction from your hard work and, and accomplishments. What have you been working at? What have you been pushing? What have you been spending your time and days working on? This is what's coming into you. But this card is also giving you security and satisfaction um, and peace in your home and family life. It's like everything's falling in line. Everything's going to be so where it, where it should be, okay, in place. Puzzle pieces fitting. So if you are in a relationship, know that it's going to be secure here, okay? Um, this could be also peace in your chosen family. Maybe you have friends around you that you have invited into your circle as your family. And there's going to be some wonderful energy there as well. And you're going to be feeling, you know, really, really blessed. This is happiness. This is, you know, 
being able to have a sense of completion now with the number 10 coming in and knowing that all your hard work and effort has finally come in to fruition. Well, things are going to be better than you expected and you're going to have a clear sight line now. You're going to see the happiness that you've always desired, but it comes in with the ending of something <clears throat> and moving into a new direction. Just be careful because there's lots of parasites out there and they want what you've got. As I said, there's going to be a new update on my channel, so look at that video below the link and it'll tell you all about it and I know you're going to be excited. Know that I send you lots of love and many blessings and I'll see you soon, my beautiful Geminis.